In the third lecture on converging diverging nozzles, we are going to try out another nozzle design and then look at some of the more, uh, we're gonna take a deeper dive into the computational aspects of the uh, nozzle. And one thing I'll just note at the top of this lecture is that in the previous lecture, I had uh, used a total uh, pressure condition, whereas in the notes, I called for a static pressure condition. And qualitatively, that is not gonna affect the results. You're still gonna see that recirculation zone. Um, and we're not gonna be using that nozzle going forward in this, uh, in this uh, lecture or in the homework. So you don't have to worry about changing it if you follow the lecture as opposed to the notes. Uh, but just in case you have numbers that don't match up, that is a potential issue. Um, an aspect of the previous uh, lecture that we did not look at is whether changing the inflow profile or changing the uh, laminar only option to including laminar and turbulent flow would affect the behavior of our nozzle. And um, if you investigated that further, you would find that that nozzle design is just not going to work under any circumstances, but you can go ahead and, and use some of the techniques we'll introduce in this lecture and apply them to that other nozzle to confirm that it continues to behave poorly if you're interested in seeing that. But so for now, uh, we're gonna start off by creating a new nozzle geometry. And you can begin by creating a new part and starting a sketch. And you wanna start off by selecting the center line tool, which we will draw in the front plane. And so I've uh, hit space and reoriented my view here. And I'm gonna draw a center line, which is horizontal and coincident with the X dimension. So that looks good to me. Now we're gonna draw arcs on either side of this uh, because we're gonna want an inlet and an outlet section to allow the flow to develop before and after that uh, nozzle. Uh, and that's gonna help us ensure the quality of the simulation. So we, I've hit the line tool and now I'm starting from the center line. I click and I'm going up. Again, you wanna make sure you've got that orthogonal symbol there. Actually, that is an arc, so don't use that. <laughs> use the line tool. There we go. Yellow symbol, that's what I like to see. So do your first line, and then you're want, gonna wanna come up and over. So you want three lines, and I'm just gonna make them like this to make my life easy. You can watch and see why that is. Um, so I've got the left-hand side. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right-hand side. Again, make sure you're orthogonal. Make sure you're orthogonal, yellow symbol below the pencil tool, and then come back down. And you can hit exit. And so we're gonna go ahead and dimension these before we close off the sketch. Okay, so click Smart Dimension, select the center line, and we're gonna use a center line length of 0.5 meters. So we're gonna have a half meter long, you know, three feet long nozzle. So it's actually quite large if you think about it. Um, the first thing we're going to do is set the, uh, now that we have the center line, the next thing to do would be to set the, uh, inlet, uh, radius, which we will select to be 0 0.07 meters, just like the last nozzle. And we're going to set the outlet, uh, to be much closer. So like I said, that wide angle of the fan was problematic previously. In this case, we're gonna set the outlet to be 0 0.0875 meters. Okay, and once you've done that, you can dimension the inlet and outlet lengths to be both 0.1 meters. And now we wanna set a throat uh, uh, radius. So take your smart dimension tool, click on the left side from the lower point to the center line, and let's set a throat radius of 0 0.06. And let's do the same for the uh, throat over here. We, we ultimately want these points to just about meet. So 0 0.06, I was quite close off the beginning. And now what we'd like to do is bring them close together. 
set the length of the converging and diverging sections. So first I'm gonna dimension the um, converging section. So uh, make sure this is going up. And I wanna set that length to be 0 0.065 meters. And so 0 0.065 meters, and you can see the profile of this starting to take shape. And for the diverging section, I'm asking you to make this 0.225 meters. And now those are almost touching, but they're not quite touching. And in the uh, nozzle geometry we had earlier, we had a very sharp transition. Uh, it was a point. And if you think about flow separation, you know, the faster and faster you go through that nozzle, it's gonna be more and more difficult for the fluid to make that turn and to not break from the wall and have a region of flow separation, which is going to induce, you know, recirculation and drag and really degrade the performance of the nozzle. Uh, and so we're gonna smooth this out and hopefully the smoother profile is gonna promote, uh, you know, a better flow profile through the, through the nozzle. And if you look at nozzles, especially in ultra high speed applications like uh, rocket propulsion, they're, you're gonna have a very smooth throat. It's not going to be that kind of point that we had previously. So let's zoom in. And then up here in the tools, there's a tangent arc and you wanna hit the down arrow and select tangent arc. Actually, so to start, you might see center point arc, arc but you want it to be a tangent arc. And if you click the tangent arc and you select both of these faces, it's automatically going to uh, make a connection which, which is smooth and is tangential to both of those surfaces. And you want it uh, to be pointed inwards, obviously. Uh, if it were pointed the other way, then that would be an even more extreme turnaround than the uh, initial nozzle that we had. But so with that tangent arc in place, we can exit out of the sketch and we're gonna be happy with this uh, more elongated profile, which is also uh, much narrower at the outlet than we were at before. And if we go into features, we can now resolve boss base. We have the same error message we did previously. The sketch is open. Great, that's what we want, say no. Uh, and so again, no to that dialogue. Uh, and go back if you did say yes. And then, uh, and so the revolve will automatically have uh, uh, revolved the part the way we would like. So it's line one of the sketch, easy. Uh, you can click okay, all of the defaults are good. And what you're gonna wanna do next is save. So I'm gonna call this CD nozzle two. Yes, place that. And this is the, basic design that we're gonna use uh, in the next section. So I'll look at a cut view, that looks great. And this is what we wanna work with going forward. 